did that for a couple of reasons. So one, we had a, a very robust negotiation with uh, with the the House and and Senate. Um, I, I did say that I would veto any bill that had an outright mandate prohibition. Um, this did not have that. Uh, I, I will say that very instructive in these negotiations was our experience with higher education. So many of our universities in in the state issued uh, vaccine mandates um, with a, a, a religious exemption um, or personal exemption, and we've we've seen some some very good numbers as, as they've been reported to us from uh, from presidents of, of universities, including right here at the University of Utah on the campus where, where we are today, uh, who reported that the um, it, it, it helped increase vaccination significantly, and they had very few people actually utilize those personal exemptions. So uh, so I felt that this was a good way to take some of the, the tension out of the room, still encouraging people uh, and, and businesses to have vaccine mandates, uh, but to allow for some exemptions for, for you know, strongly held views. And uh, we're, we're, we're not, you know, we're, we're not accomplishing anything with the fighting that's going on. This is a way to really get more people vaccinated, um, but, but to eliminate some of the fighting and, and make sure that people can still work and provide for their families. So I'm hopeful if, if, uh, if that businesses will see something similar to what we're seeing here at the University of Utah, where we've had reports in many areas, upwards of 95 percent of people getting vaccinated, even with the personal exemption. Um, those are those are great numbers. And if we could get something close to that, we would be uh, we would be much better off. But does this just create more problems for private employers trying I, to I, enforce a mandate? I, I don't think it creates more problems for private employers. I think it helps private employer, employers. In fact, we had lots of of private employers say to us, this is great. It, it, it allows us to put uh, a mandate in place while still giving you know, a handful of our employees who, who just so strongly believe in this that, that, uh, that they're not willing to get the vaccine, and, uh, and we can move forward. So the, the, uh, the, the, uh, the feedback that we've gotten from the, the private sector has been over, overwhelmingly positive. They would not have supported an outright ban on, on any type of, uh, of, of vaccine mandate.